All right, we're going to wrap up the TPI capacitor situation today. We've got the other one finalized. This one I like in this configuration. I've been using it quite a bit, and it works well. So we're going to keep this capacitor in there, and so that I can get this off, we'll check what the rating was. I think this was a an eight thick. Yep, this is an 8. And that works good. So I think what I will do here if possible I'd like to just strap it down like that. And I tend to think that it should be doable. I can wrap all those wires up together like that and keep those secure. And then I'll just take a, a tie wrap and, and put it around the top there. And that should that should do it, I think. Let's see. Yeah, that feels like it's pretty secure there. So let me put this on and then I'll, I'll put one more tie down at the bottom to hold the wires together. And we're going to be all set with this one. We'll just put a tie right around all, all that stuff in there. And I don't normally use tie wraps for wires, but I think in this case, since this stuff is not going to be coming off anytime soon, I think this is acceptable. There we go. And it can move a little bit, but it's not going to come forward anywhere near enough to contact the blade. Unless it starts vibrating, I think it's fine that way. Don't really expect it to vibrate at all. Very good. Now I have two TPI free ends with a nice usable slow low speed. 